Well, hey guys, how are you? Thanks for joining me again. Kevin here. And I wanted to show you how I organize my days and my projects in my week. Um, I do e-learning development and I have to manage a lot of projects with a lot of people. And um, I'm always looking for good ways to organize my, uh, my workflow. So this is Kanban Flow. This is a free web-based, card-based uh, program. And you guys may know of others that I have used and that others have shown, like Trello uh, is another popular one. Asana is another good one. Um, I basically try them all. But Kanban Flow is really the one that I've been sticking with and for a lot of different reasons, which I can go into at another time. But I just wanted to show you how I set up my week using Kanban Flow. So once you create your um, account with Kanban Flow, and I'll probably go into that in another video. You set up these project boards. And this particular one, the way I set up my projects is I use two boards. So I've really gotten into the habit of using two, and I'll show you why I do that. My first board that you're looking at is what you might call a traditional agile board, where each column is representative of a stage of a project. So on the far left side, I just have some planned tasks that are unrelated to the project. So this is my kind of a to-do list, if you will. And then here I have planned projects in yellow. And in the next column, I call it in development. And these are green. So obviously those things are in green that are in development. Then I have a QA and approval column, meaning that it's in quality checking and approval state. And then finally done. So I try to keep my setup simple. But this board is very, very high level. The only thing I put on the, on the cards here are a due date, and that's about it. So it goes into a column, it's in a status, and it has a due date. That's all I really expect from this board. And that keeps things at a very high level. So this is kind of like my high level dashboard look. Now I've created another one. Let me show you what I've done here. I have another board, and this is my work week. And I've also added Saturday and Sunday as well, because occasionally, you never know, you have to put in the weekend time, so I want to be able to have that there. But this has Monday through Friday set up as individual columns. And what I do is I block it into chunks of three hours. So essentially, this works hand in hand with uh, my other boards. So I have work projects here, and then you see these three projects in green. Well, if you come back to the work week board, you'll see them right here. But what I do on this board is I add in all the additional checklists, notes, and other related things because this is really my working board. And I chunk it up into hours so that I know what I'm working on during what time of the day. And for me, that's really important um, because I really like to be able to know how much time I plan to give to each of these projects. So if I drop it into a time slot and then I'll pop, again, I'll pop meetings in here, but I'll, I'll keep the same color coding. So green is my in-process development projects. Purple would be the color I've given to administrative work. And then yellow is for my meeting times. So uh, I've got after hours, 1 to 4, 9 to 12, and 6 to 9 a.m. I start my days very early and try to end them between 4 and 5, but then there's always after hours as well. So this is kind of how I can move things around. So things can be dropped in and dragged around from time to time. And if I don't finish something one day, I can dra drag it over to the next day and slot it into that time slot. So for me these two together work really, really well. And the, the good news about it is, is that you can do this uh, Kanban flow uh, on your iPhone, on your Android, or any iOS device, or any tablet. So it's completely portable, and it has the same view. Um, maybe I'll have to do another video on that to show you how good the view looks in the, um, in the uh, portable uh, iOS capability. It looks really, really good. So anyways, guys, that's basically it. Um, I just wanted to show you how I set up my work days. 
and hopefully this can work for you as well. Like I said, there's Trello out there, there's Asana, but for me, Kanban Flow is really great, and um, I appreciate you watching. So maybe we'll have to do a couple more on Kanban Flow pretty soon, but uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and this is Kevin, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.